Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. Alright guys, so here's the plan. We're on a mission to get back to see the kids. First thing we need to do is ship Vandy across the border, but they can't ship it till I get over the border. <laughs> so I had the negative test, which is positive. That allows me to fly. Tomorrow morning I fly over to Seattle and then up to Bellingham, which is a half an hour south of the border. Then your turn. Yes, then I take Worsley with Lando and we drive across the border and then we meet Peter at the airport in Bellingham in Bellingham and then we pick up Pete and then we go back up to we drive up to Blair which is just over the border right to and pick up then, Vandy <laughs> if, if all goes well then Vandy will be sitting there um, the shipping company will have driven it across the border so that's the plan and then we start driving so we drive south again to Seattle and then all the way west through Washington the panhandle of Idaho into Montana. Montana, which is where the kids are. And then it's um, it's still uh, from the from the state line there, it's about five hours drive to um, the X hangar. So that's the plan and we're gonna take you with us. I think Lando's ready to see the kids, mm -hmm. what do you think? <laughs> We're here at the warehouse and you can see the door opening in the background and Vandy is inside. It is time to pick up our Jeep. All the paperwork was done through the broker that we used to ship it over here. And it's literally, we're in Blaine, Washington, so they went from Surrey. Probably a half an hour drive over the border. morning from somewhere in Washington. We're heading across Washington into Idaho, a little piece of Idaho, and then down into Montana. Let's see how far we can get today. Um, we're on the journey back to see the kids. We, I don't think we'll get there today, but probably uh, tomorrow morning in a decent time, so we're pretty excited about that. Right now, um, the weather's nice, the road looks clear. We're heading on. Driving through Montana on the way to reunite with the kids. We're getting awful close. I think uh, two and a half hours from now, and we should be pulling into the driveway. So we're pretty excited about that. And so is Lando. Are you excited to see the kids? Yeah. 
airline. Me, Dan. Very excited. Lando, you want to be part of this too, don't you? Now he's realizing how he feels and how stuck he is. Come here, Lando. 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 Yes, Lando. Come on, bro. Come here, sit, sit, sit. Wow, we made it, guys. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, all in one piece is pretty exciting. Good, good to be here. You guys have grown. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's grown. You had fun? Yep. Oh, yeah. been busy, huh? Yeah. I was saying when you guys were pulling in, and now that you're here, it doesn't feel like you've been gone for so long. Yeah. No. It's crazy. That's My dad goes. was counting down. He's like, two hours, an hour, <laughs> 30 minutes, 30 minutes, four minutes. Is that fun? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I missed my doggy. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is that another crash on it? Or was that over? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it was rad. We were like, you gotta come in here, she'll buy those. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we're here in beautiful Montana. We're at the Expedition Overland headquarters, the X Hangar. And we have been spending our time so far getting caught up with the kids and just spending some quality time with Clay and Rochelle and the three boys. What an awesome family, the Croft family. Uh, this has been a, a wonderful week. Um, the kids have been wrapping up some projects that they're working on. And Carol and I have been packing and getting ready for our next trip together as a family. We're heading south into the desert. We're pretty excited to bring you all kinds of great video content from that. But the kids have spent the last couple of months learning so much from the team here, working uh, in a full-fledged video production studio, and that experience is just invaluable for them. And they've been working on the Croft Family Solo Series, which is now available on YouTube, so make sure you go check that out. Here's a little teaser for you. Who says you have to go far to feel far away? The whole Croft Family hits the road for a Montana solo adventure in one truck as one family on one incredible journey. Begin the adventure with us this Thursday for a special double feature premiere of our four-part solo series. This Thursday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. The handle, because of, I guess, rust, from being in the rain so much would stick get stuck down there and we couldn't open the door so now it's working but what do you have to do we took all these panels off and just looked in there and we could see that big rod that would push the, the door latch open and closed was super super rusty so we got bogard which is like just a really good wd-40 sprayed it on there and then i got a little copper wire brush and just Scratched it a bit to remove some of the rust and then would wipe it clean. Did that a few times and that was good. Yeah. Don't have any sun to speak of today. We're dealing with the cloudy, overcast skies, but just getting out the three panels and the new Jackery just to test it out here. Um, they've got a splitter, which is really nice. We've got two of these, so we could theoretically we could join a fourth uh, 100 watt 
um, solar panel to this, which is something I think we're gonna do. And then two inputs here. So despite having no sun, we're getting 14 watts coming in, 151 watts going out because we've got it plugged into the uh, Snowmaster fridge here. So that's, we're just, just trying it out, but it's uh, definitely a powerful um, unit. If it, if it can handle the fridge, no problem. Uh, there's a lot this thing could do. So we've just been working away at the rust and it's starting to come pretty clean. Got a bit more work to do obviously, but uh, much improved. Not bad, not bad. It's all coming together basically have a free canvas of time. You've got a three week roughly window to go from here, anywhere down into here. Pink coral, That'd be fun. Zion, berry. The pink coral, is that like a flat area or? It's a, dunes. It's all dunes. All dunes. Mm -hmm. And is it a, a national monument or national park? It's a, or just a OHV area. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. You can play and go get, get in stuck. there and have fun? Yeah, yes. get in there and get stuck. All right, we're just putting the final touches on everything, cleaning out the fridge, loading up both fridges, and getting everything loaded into the Jeeps because we're heading out. This officially is the end of the Empty Nest Edition and we're starting on a new journey we're going to call the Desert Series and we're heading down to the desert. It's going to be really exciting. We've got a lot of amazing adventures ahead. Our very first adventure is going to be right where we left off last year. We left off with Kevin and Sarah and Caroline from Lifestyle Overland before heading back to Canada and we're going right back to start where we left off. Very good. <laughs> <laughs>